we've got plenty to talk about on our list. Now, a couple things. Uh, first of all, the videos that you're watching right now uh, is just a, a, a combination of the Charizard GX case file and a Greninja GX case file uh, opening that I, I recorded a long time ago. I never got around to doing a voiceover for it and publishing it. So I decided uh, because I wanted to talk about the press conference, I, I figured I'll just go ahead and and combine the two videos and then just have it in the background while we discuss the things that uh, were announced. I mean, these products are, are fairly old at this point. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these products uh, opened up on YouTube already thousands of times. So there's not really no need to, to focus in on these. Um, but you know, like I said, my main thing is I wanted to talk about this press conference. This Okay, so at the time of recording, it's currently just about midnight, uh, June 5th basically. Uh, so we have the uh, Pokemon press conference that happened last Tuesday. Uh, lots of things were announced. I was very happy with the press conference. I thought it was um, very informative as well as very hopeful uh, for where the Pokemon uh, company is, is going with a lot of their uh, branding, with a lot of their franchises and things like that. Uh, then we have the Pokemon Direct that's actually coming up in, at well, this point, like about nine hours. Um, well, at the time of recording, it's nine hours. And uh, yeah, so there's there's a lot going on, uh, and I'm super stoked. Um, the The Pokemon hype, I think, is is uh, is a lot stronger than it has been in the past few months i think people were kind of on board with sword and shield when that released uh when that you know announcement trailer came out but then because we haven't really heard anything about it in such a a long time um i think people kind of died down their pokemon excitement but let's let's go back to okay so let's focus on a press conference because so, like i said that is my main thing that is that is the what my the, what the video is supposed to be talking about um Let's see, they started off with first the Detective Pikachu stuff, uh, how successful the film was. Um, I, I, there was reports that, you know, a, sec, a sequel is already uh, in development and that they want to do like a Pokemon cinematic universe of some sort, which is pretty cool. I mean, the movie is apparently confirmed to be taking place in Ash Ketchum's universe, which is pretty neat. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things they can do. And they nailed the movie so well that, you know, now they can really go all out with a story. Um, with with the characters and things like that uh, since they got the Pokemon feel down uh, it's great but what they announced um, more so is that there's going to be a Detective Pikachu sequel uh, to the game uh, now I never played Detective Pikachu I never played the first one uh, I heard it left on a cliffhanger uh, and so people were expecting a sequel uh, however what's kind of odd is that the sequels coming out for the switch what I was really hoping was that they would announce that the first one would be ported over to the Switch. Because me as, as a Pokemon fan, um, I really much prefer uh, to play the first one before I uh, get a chance to play the second one. Uh, and, and I really wanted the first one to be ported over so that way I can just kind of buy both on the same system and, and just play it through like that. But I, I, unfortunately not. Uh, I don't know how they're going to handle that, considering that since you're on two different platforms, uh, you know, are people going to want to buy Detective Pikachu 2 if they never played the first one? Because I don't think a lot of people played the first one. I don't think the sales were really that strong. Uh, so to call it Detective Pikachu 2 uh, would, would be, I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I, I feel like that's not a good uh, marketing strategy there. But I, I honestly, I don't know what they're going to do. They just said that it was a sequel and that it was going to have a different ending than the movie did. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just have to decide if I'm going to cough up the 40 bucks to, to play on a 3DS. Or if I kind of cross my fingers and, and just wait a little bit longer and see if they port it over to the to the Switch. I, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's kind of exciting that they are doing a sequel for that. I think it's it's kind of a smart move considering that the uh, the movie did very well. Uh, then they talked about a couple Pokemon centers opening up, uh, one in China, which I believe that one folk has like a, 
has Mewtwo as its mascot for the store, which showed us like, you know, a concept design of, of what it's going to be like, very interactive, which is pretty neat. Um, then they talked about one that was opening up in an airport. Uh, and then they talked about Pokemon Quest being ported over for China. Um, and, and oddly enough, it's got a couple extra features. I know one of them's PvP. I don't remember what the other feature is, but I, I'm just kind of confused, like, why doesn't the American version get it? Or, like, I guess the original version get it. The Chinese version is the one that gets the extra features. Or if it's in the plan to also update uh, the the Pokemon Quest games that are already out. I don't, I don't know. Um, I played Pokemon Quest for, like, a little bit. Uh, it, it's kind of a neat little, you know, uh, what is it, time killer. Um... What's the, what's the better word of saying it? It's it's a it's a little side game. It, it's fun to play. Uh, I just never really completed it through because it does. <laughs> you do need to invest a lot of time, or you could invest like thirty five dollars to get a lot of the good stuff, and then kind of like expedite you through most of the areas. Um, but I, I thought it was kind of neat that you know they're not completely giving up on Pokemon Quest, uh, but they are going to branch it out into the Chinese market. Um, Okay, so what else was talking about? Now, at this point, I'm kind of going in an order where I feel like we talk about the important stuff and then we transition to the most important stuff. Uh, let's see. So we talked about Detective Pichu. Uh, to oh, at the very end of the conference, they talked about their Pokemon shirts, which if you haven't checked them out yet, you need to. A lot of the designs are so cool, and I might actually do a video uh, going through the designs and giving my thoughts on them. Like, there are some really awesome designs. So basically, they, they have a shirt with a design from each Kanto Pokemon. It's the original 151. Uh, and, and, and some of them are very, you know, direct. It's like, oh, obviously, this is what this is my champ and this is blastoise like you can see the pokemon in the designs but there are others where it's kind of clever where they they kind of use shapes uh and and the positioning of things to make it look like it's just you know a, an abstract kind of thing but really if you look closely it'll it'll outline the pokemon it's really neat you should check it out i think it's pokemon.co.jp so the the announcement behind the shirt was that uh that it was it was a service in Japan because uh, it has been out for a little while now, uh, and but it's going to make its way over to the uh, to Europe and the Americas, which is pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, and and again, I'm only basing this off what I heard because I haven't actually tried to pay for one. But apparently, these shirts with shipping and everything will cost close to ninety dollars per shirt. Uh, that is incredibly expensive. I don't know the material that these shirts are made out of. Uh, I'm sure they're high quality, but I just ninety dollars for a shirt. I don't know. It's it's pretty intense. But like I said, check it out. The designs are really awesome. I I think they did really really well. There were there are a couple, maybe like a handful where I'm like, uh, I could skip out on this one. I don't really need this one. It's weird. Um, but yeah, oh, the other thing about the shirts too is that they're customizable. So you can get like the design on maybe like the, the pocket of the shirt and a, a different design on the inside collar. It's really weird. Like it's, it's a very, um, uh, it's kind of a personalized uh, dress shirt uh, for, for you to wear, which is pretty cool. So I, I suggest you, you go and, and check that out. Cause uh, yeah, I, I, if they come over here to the Americas, I'm definitely going to grab. <sighs> I don't like the idea of spending 90 bucks, but if, uh, if I'm going to, you know, I'm going to pick uh, just one and it'll be my favorite one. I most likely will be the Squirtle. I think out of the three Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise, Squirtle is my favorite one. Uh, but, and that's, that's what I'll stick with because I don't have money like that to spend uh, basically a hundred bucks for each Pokemon. So that's what, 1500, no, hundred bucks, 150, that's 15,000. That doesn't seem right. I don't know. You, you guys can do the math. Anyway, uh, so so that was pretty much it as far as like the the low key announcements. Uh, so what's left to talk about are basically three major announcements, three big ones uh, that uh, are are really they're they're very much look, things to look forward to. Um, they very went heavy on on the mobile uh, mobile apps because. I, I was like thinking back and I'm like, man, everything's coming out for the phone, uh, which is kind of smart on their end. But, uh, you know, a little a little 
too late maybe i don't know i hope hopefully they they can um get a better grasp on this but let's talk about pokemon sleep so pokemon sleep is 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 an odd one uh but pokemon sleep is is the go version of sleeping so you would definitely okay so we have pokemon go where you obviously everyone knows pokemon go you earn candies you you walk with your buddy um you hatch eggs things like that pokemon sleep is a way to incentivize your sleep habits so i guess the more you sleep or maybe the better you sleep i don't know i really don't know how it works they didn't really specify other than that you'll have rewards and that you know you're you be looking forward to waking up in the morning uh with pokemon sleep and they showed off a device which um is a bit of an odd it's 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 like a hockey puck kind of um with a with the pokeball design on the front it's it's flat it's not like a round large object um, but it's flat and supposedly goes under your pillow and it acts as a pokeball plus so you can uh catch pokemon with it you can catch or you can you can spin poke socks with it but it also does like the sleep part of it where it, it picks up i again i don't really know i don't use sleep apps i've never heard about sleep apps so i don't really know how this is gonna work um i guess it tracks how many hours you sleep uh your REM cycle things like that i don't really know guys i'm just trying to i'm trying to make sense of it for myself um but hey i, I in my head i was thinking if 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 it's gonna get me pokemon rewards i will sleep i will go on a regular sleep schedule if i have to um the only one thing and and i did hear this get brought up is that i hope it doesn't punish you um or there's like no negative consequences uh for not having a regular sleep schedule because it's kind of unfair for those that like actually do like maybe third shifts um where they work overnight and then they sleep during the day that'd be kind of uh unfair unfair for those people uh that that you know they kind of uh kind of get the 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 worst of it but i don't know again there was not a lot of details other than they're working on pokemon sleep and that uh what is it that they were working on a device and that oh uh it does it does coincide with go so your rewards are pokemon go rewards i believe um and i think uh the ceo of niantic announced that there was like a yawning uh snorlax released in pokemon go which at this point it's already been like a couple days over with but nothing really else exciting there like i said it's it's a weird it's a weird concept i don't know how it's gonna work out um i'm looking forward to hearing what the other details are but i mean that's pretty much all you can say about pokemon sleep uh, the next thing we'll talk about is Pokemon Masters. So this one's kind of an exciting and very <laughs> concerning game. Uh, well, concerning for financial reasons. So uh, they talked about Pokemon Masters, which is a mobile app game. It's another one supposedly coming out later this year that uh, it, it brings together all your iconic trainers from the game. So, like, Cynthia and Garchomp, Brock and Onyx, Misty and Staryu, uh, Blue and Pidgeot. It, it was, that's what, at least what they showed so far. Um, and that you battle against these trainers or battle with these trainers. I wasn't quite sure exactly um, what the uh, idea there was. Um, from what I'm hearing from a couple different people, it's like a, a hero summoning game, basically, where you uh maybe earn uh one of these trainers and they have like a strong pokemon and and you fight along with them or you fight as them i don't really know uh it looked really cool for a mobile game the graphics were not that bad um they're pretty you know they're decent uh and i just think it's cool i think they're they're catching on like the kind of the nostalgia feel of like oh man this this is uh cynthia and and her garchomp i remember this being you know so good uh such a good battle in the game or maybe like um oh what's her face whitney and the mill tank like oh man these guys were annoying but hey they were cool to, to kind of have a you know, challenge against so you know you get to play against them again or um 
or you play with them again it's a it, not a lot of details were given at the press conference other than these things are happening and and that they're going to be re- releasing sometime soon or something like that um so that that was the next mobile app game again it's a very cool one i'm actually looking forward more to pokemon masters than i am to pokemon sleep obviously <laughs> because it just looks cooler um but we'll see where that goes i just hope it doesn't i feel like it's it's gonna be a game that very heavily latches on to to uh uh what is it like uh microtransactions and things like that all right and then the last thing that we need to talk about is pokemon home i feel like that was the biggest and probably best announcement at this press conference pokemon home is essentially a cloud-based pokemon bank so um i think most people know what pokemon bank is but basically it's a storage system that was available on the 3ds and i think the wii u where you can dump like a lot of your pokemon into it in case you don't want to keep it in the storage system of the game you can just take it to pokemon bank and then you can trade from pokemon bank to certain pokemon games depending on i, I think when they were released pokemon home is a bit different in the sense that it is a cloud-based service meaning that you are going to be downloading this on your phone or you can download it on a switch and that your Pokemon uh, get sent uh, to to the cloud, and and it stays there. Now you can trade from Pokemon Bank, the 3DS, Pokemon Let's Go, and Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home, but you can't trade them back into those systems. Now Pokemon Sword and Shield has that interaction where you can trade it into Pokemon, and in, so you can trade it from po- from Sword and Shield into Pokemon Home. And then from Pokemon Home back to Sword and Shield. Uh, and I think that's obviously going to be the case, especially since it's the newest edition. Um, but what I'm mostly, mostly excited about, and I think it's the smartest thing, and I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, is the the fact that you can trade over this app. Like, if, like let's say I had um, a Bulbasaur, and you needed a Bulbasaur, and I had, and I needed a Squirtle from you, and we need to trade, we can just do it through the app. We don't have to be next to each other. We don't have to be in the same state. I don't think we have to be in the same country. We can just trade over an app at any point in time, as long as we are connected to an internet source, which I think is amazing. That helps out so much, especially for people that um, haven't been playing you know, every single generation, they want to try to fill their Pokedex, and they're missing, like, generation four and five, because, you know, they, they didn't know, they, they stopped playing those games, I feel like that's gonna be just a personal issue, because I, I didn't really play those that much, like, I just think it's such a smart idea, and, and I'm, I'm very looking forward to, like, that's probably the, the most thing I'm excited for, is Pokemon Home, uh, now, as far as how much it costs, not sure, uh, I know Pokemon Bank was, like, I think it was like five bucks. So Pokemon Home, I want to say at least ten. I hope it's not more than ten, but you never know. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, there were, that's a lot to take in. Uh, like I said, a lot of announcements happen, and then in a, in several hours we have the Pokemon Direct, which is gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. Um, you guys, let me know what you guys think about the press conference. What was your most exciting announcement? Uh, what was the one thing that, you know, got your attention the most? And, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comment section. Sorry for getting this video out, uh, longer, uh, or getting this video out so late. Um, but, you know, I still wanted to kind of share my thoughts out there about it. Uh, I'm really excited. Like, the Pokemon hype is, is, like, big time overload, overload right now. And, and I'm really looking forward to Sword and Shield, uh, the direct, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep, but we'll see. All right, so that's going to be it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you like the unboxing, too. Uh, hopefully you got those products. They're pretty cool. The Greninja one's my favorite one. Uh, and, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So please like, subscribe, comment, all that other YouTube stuff that I already forgot what I needed to say. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.